It works. There we go. A couple of giggles. Oh, how would I describe it personally? Well, uh, uh, in terms of production and playing, I do wish that I could have had some more opportunity. However, uh, I recognize and own two seasons ago that I kind of, I would say, dug myself a bit of a hole. Um, last summer, I felt really, really good about the work that I put in and uh, my level of focus and, uh, you know, leading into training camp and the preseason and with limited minutes and limited opportunity, I was able to be, I would say, fairly successful this season. But uh, you know what? You kind of have to take it in stride, understand what's in front of you. And to be honest, I just I came in this building every day with the goal of work as hard as I could and have everyone hopefully recognize the uh, my willingness to be a, a good person, good teammate, uh, and always willing to work and, and be a pro. So uh, that was my approach every single day, and I felt that I did that. Could you go through another season like this next year? Uh, you know, as a competitor, I want to be out on the floor. And as I mentioned, I feel that even – Though the minutes were limited and the opportunities weren't necessarily there for me, the times that I w was on the floor, I felt that much more comfortable, uh, that much better about what I was able to do uh, to impact the game on both ends of the floor. Um, like I mentioned, I, I, I do feel vastly improved and much better out there. Uh, you know, I think that um, my career has been a continual progression and a learning process. And I feel that now I'm at a point where I feel really good about who I am as a player and where I can, where I can continue to push myself to be, I guess. Uh, and that'll be another, essentially I feel like I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did last summer and build on that. So, um, my hope is that there will be an uh, open open minds uh, to who I am as a player when I when I come back at the end of the summer uh, with the opportunity to uh, earn uh, you know minutes a spot in the rotation whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so will the workouts this summer will it be similar to what you did last year? Same training, that kind of thing. Uh, essentially the same thing. Um, to be honest, I haven't almost dialed in completely already at this point. Um, up up at 6.30 on the floor at 8, leave 9.30, eat, go home, go work out again, lift, PT, whatever it is, go home, probably go back to the gym at night. I mean, that's that's all I did and that's all I plan to do. I uh, care a lot about, you know, my progression and I, I want to, I want to succeed and I want to prove to people that uh, I am a good player and that I can uh, be a factor for a team uh, because watching film of this past year, I know there was a progression and I know um, if I look at all my numbers compared to the past, I think it, every, every statistical category uh, minus blocks for some reason. Uh, we're up, defensive rebounding, um, you know, shooting numbers from last year. Um, I feel like I've finished much better in the paint and around the rim, and that progression will just continue this summer with even more attention to detail. Um, essentially, every day minus Sunday, from about June first to September first. As far as this, the season went as mm -hmm. a team, uh, obviously so many highs and lows. Sure. Do you focus, you look back, do you focus more on 
nine wins, a division title, all that, third seed, or, or the way things ended? Sure. Uh, you know what? I'll start with this. This is one great group of guys. I mean, geez, it was uh, a lot of fun this year. As you mentioned, there were uh, ups and downs, but I think walking into the building every single day, guys enjoyed being around each other. They enjoyed competing in between the lines, and then you know, once practice was over, or, you know, we all just enjoyed the process of it. And you know, there were times that were very frustrating. There were times, you know, during the win streak that you know that felt great. And now, obviously, the ending. Uh, here in the playoffs was not what we wanted. Nobody anticipated it. Um, you never could have told me in a million years going into this series that we would have been swept by the Pelicans. Um, so, you know, I think it's important to see both sides. I think it's important to know that although we had struggled during the regular season, we were always able to overcome it. Uh, you know, you, you talk about. <clears throat> the amount of talent in the West and just in the, obviously in the league in general, you know, to have 49 wins easily could have been 50, third seed in the West. That's impressive. There, there's no other way around that. And wins and losses don't lie. And, but, you know, ultimately you are, I don't know, judged or it, it's looked upon how you perform in the playoffs. And unfortunately, um, we didn't play to the level that we're capable of, that uh, within this organization, within the locker room, that we know we can, which is frustrating. But uh, you go back to the drawing board, uh, as individuals now for the summer, uh, you know, the hope is that everybody works and, you know, believes in what they can do, and then they, they bring their best version of their self back to Portland, you know, in September. Wrapped up there. Thanks, Byron. Thanks, Byron.